I was in here cleaning up and I went downstairs to do some laundry and I noticed there was a notice on the door. Took the notice off the door, read it said public auction on the, the 29th of September in Redwood City. No one knocked on my door, just taped it to the door and left. So I, I didn't know what to think. Our eviction defense practice is built around tenants who are in foreclosed homes um, who, through no fault of their own, happen to be renting from somebody who's lost ownership of the, of the rental property. Most tenants have had no participation at all in uh, what led up to that point and may have received zero warning. The very first one I got, it was back in October. <sighs> that one was, uh, that one was really hard. This investment group bought the place and I got a three day notice. I didn't know what else to do. So I got on the phone, called Legal Aid. When they call Legal Aid Society, tenants are uh, given an appointment if they have an eviction notice or an eviction lawsuit. Most all of the tenants who come to us with uh, eviction notices after a foreclosure are honestly bewildered by the process because it is bewildering. They want me to move within 90 days, but at the same time, they want me to pay them rent. Doing both things is really hard. The deposit on a, on a good neighborhood, the neighborhood that you want to be in, it's going to cost you 20 $2,000 deposit or more. So you have to figure out, do I pay rent? Do I put money on the deposit? What do I do? Being told that you have to leave your home, it's a tremendous upheaval for people. Where's my job? Am I close to the transportation I need? When are the kids in school, and what district are we in? And if we move, are we gonna to have to make that change? It's huge and life-changing. And our objective is always to get people the time that they are entitled to, um, but also the time that they need. I told my daughter, we're gonna stop looking for a place just for, to after the holidays, because we wanna enjoy the holidays. Right now, it's all about her, and her enjoy Christmas. She doesn't want to move. It's her friends she's going to miss the most. And so I try to encourage her not to think about it. I think the takeaway that many of our clients have after getting legal advice is you have to question what's being what's being told to you and get competent legal advice from either a neutral party or an advocate for their side of things. She's been right there the whole time, helping me understand the legal part of everything that's going on. After meeting her several times, I felt comfortable. I felt I can breathe a little. You know, you have to worry just a little bit because you have to move. But speaking with her and understanding everything that's going on, it's been okay. It's been fine.